It's the murky waters of the sport being a promotion and not a league. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I understand you know, that now, you know, yeah, of course, it because what, what happened is, you know, I recently got into the hall of fame and that to me was means more to me because when I got into the sport, like having all that bitterness and having to think about it and go, why did you, why did you even get into the sport? And when you've had hit some low points, it makes you really think. And why I got into this was to inspire people and to 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 just chase greatness for myself it wasn't about other people and along the road people when you get close to touching being the world champion that's all people talk about it becomes yeah. your obsession and then when it gets taken away you're, you're like okay that sucks and then you're like well what did, I, what did i always want that was never what i wanted what i wanted was to have amazing fights and amazing performances and to have crazy highlight videos that inspire people. Cause that's what I use to motivate me to get up and go train and get through my day. Yeah. Just watching like Anderson Silva and, and, um, Vanderlei Silva and Crow Cup and these guys that I just be like, wow, man, that was amazing. Right. <laughs> and so for me to be that guy now and to be known for my fighting style and to possibly, I believe that my style has, helped push the sport forward right because of my creativity and just trying to do things my own way and trying to not say okay this is the way you fight well let's keep evolving that let's keep making it better you know and that's why the sport keeps evolving and getting better and it, it's it's wild and to think i have a, i've had a part of that and and that got me into the hall of fame that was like <laughs> That was it. That was it. it yeah. It, it meant more to me than, than, than the belt. So, like I said, the, the whole not fighting for a belt is a, was, a, was a tough one to swallow. Um, at this point in my career, I don't know if it would, it would ever happen. Um, I'm, getting, I'm getting right there in the last chapter. So, um, but I, I'm, I'm okay with it because of the, the Hall of Fame thing and, and um, you know, making my – making my mark yeah well like so much about martial arts is about the respect and the honor for the discipline and the way of life and i think that you personify that like no other and um so much so that your story is as incredible as it is which we just went over you know it is an incredible story but it's like a display of the negative aspects of uh, human nature of clicking on negative things of being drawn. Like there was a fight at the press conference yesterday. It canceled yeah. the whole press conference. So guess what? I'm like watching that and I'm just like, this fight just got bigger, right? Yeah. It got bigger because of that. And yeah. so then that becomes the cool thing. And it's th then it's like, okay, but if you're not going to be that, if you just have an incredible story of challenging times, um, adversity as a child and into your teenage years, something like a major life event that's like serious happened to you that really straightens out your life so that you create a pencil out of underwear and string and, you know, do extra work. Like that's a better movie. That's a way better movie. And that's a way better story to teach your kids and have other yeah. people teach their kids. So like, there's just so much to be proud of for you, Cub. And also I want to say this, and I want to ask you this, like, you always thought you were destined for something big. And like, sure enough, you, you became big. Mm -hmm.